Well, hello. Every so often I pick up a pen and I'm just thinking, this is amazing. And then I hide it. <laughs> so this is a pen I've been hiding for a while, um, since last year actually. And uh, it's time to bring it out. So uh, enjoy. So looking at a box like this, I think you know what's inside. Uh, but just in case you don't, oops, need my extra light here while I'm looking at the pen. So this is a Nakaya Neo Standard with a Toki Tamanuri finish. And they put a little bit of flex on it. So we'll open it up. The paper doohickey. The inner doohickey does not want to come out. I don't want to shake it, but there we go. All right. So this is Japanese for you're a stupid American who paid too much money for a pen. Inside, ooh, got lots of blue black, uh, platinum blue black. We have a converter, which I'll be using because you seriously think I'm going to put this in my pen for the first time? And I think it has a very nice kimono. Set all that junk aside. We'll open up the kimono. So we'll take out the tooth, unwrap it, unwrap some more. Oh, and it comes with a something to for fish to strangle on. We'll put that in the box. I mean, if I ever sell the pen, I mean need it. So this is the uh, Neo Standard Writer in the Toki Tamanuri finish. What struck my eye, I've always liked the Neo Standard Writer design. And I got a Decapod Twist first because I liked that one better, but I like the Neo Standard design a lot. I like the idea of it being a daily writer type of pen, although I don't know if this will be that. But the moral of the story is I just loved the offset of this bright and then the dark brown. So let's take a closer look. So, yeah, I think that's beautifully finished. Nothing on the clip, but we wouldn't expect it. It's basically when you see this, you pretty much know what type of pen you're looking at. And then if I unscrew, I didn't get any customizations this time. Thought about it, but I didn't. I decided to go with the nib customization instead. But just beautiful Urushi work. And then I got a 14 karat soft medium nib. And then they did some stuff to it to make it more flexy. Of course, like every Nakaya, it's a cartridge converter filler. And like I said, I could have put a nice cartridge in it, but I'm going to put a nice converter in it instead. You can buy these converters with some customized painting, but i like, seriously, why would you do that? It's a little secret that only you know that your pen has. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to give it a nice drink of Parker Quink Washable Blue, because that's, that's how we roll on this channel. Not gonna use any of that highfalutin there, there plunk, 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 dang, platinum ink. Go dang, no way. All right, so I could have done better filling that. Uh, my ink level's starting to get low, so it's getting, so I gotta hold it at awkward angles to fill the nib, or fill the pen. And since basically I only fill this for uh, pen review, or use this for pen reviews, it's probably telling you so that I've been reviewing too many pens, but anyway. I have been looking forward to trying this pen for uh, many, many months since I ordered it. So MF means medium flex. So the ink, of course, is Parker Quink. See, it flexes. And without any pressure. I like it. <laughs> uh, 
So flex, yeah. Wet noodle flex, no, but it feels like it. You know, it doesn't go the uh, extra fine to triple broad the way some of the vintage pens do, but enough to make the writing very interesting. Wetness and flow, I'm finding this to be a very wet pen. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, smear test. Uh, reverse writing. surprisingly smooth and extra fine and not very flexy but I didn't really expect it to be and finally the world famous Pierre Gustafson test Ooh, ouch but I have the feeling this feed isn't designed to keep up with that kind of writing but all in all that was a fun writing experience was this pen worth hiding? I kind of think it was. I I I uh, I enjoyed it. It, it, it is a uh, you know it's a writer. It's a neo standard writer. It feels good in the hand. It looks amazing, and uh, the nib is okay. The nib is not. Oh, this disappears in my hand. The nib is fun, um, but I'm enjoying it. And let's just try some things out here, like, you know, an important thing. Does it fit in the pocket? I don't have a pocket, but I have a shirt, so... Doesn't want to fit over the shirt. <laughs> so, with a little struggle, it fits over the shirt. But I think the important thing is, it's beautiful. I love the different finishes on it. I love how it feels in my hand. Um... It takes the soft fine that Platinum and Nakaya have, and it makes them so much better. <laughs> this is a fun pen. And that's, you know, it's weakness. It, it doesn't disappear in my hand. It, it definitely is what it is, and, it, and I think about it when I write with it, but uh, holy cow. <laughs> fun. I'm looking forward to trying it with uh, Noodler's Black Swan and English Rose. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't think of enough good to say about it. This is a great pen. So, uh, yeah, I, I think worth hiding for a year. And, uh, just think there may be other treasures waiting on this channel that one day when I come to a week when I'm like, oh, shoot, I don't have time to film a full video, um, I may come up with an, another pen, so... <laughs> ah, it's 9.43. I don't care. I'm tired. I need to go to bed, and uh, I'm filming a pen video, so I'm glad it's only the talky part. But this is a pen worth sharing, and uh, I'm glad I get to share it. So, well, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.